Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Farthest Frontier, which is a game all about forging a brand new town, surviving against the elements, and managing a little population of explorers and settlers. Let's jump into a brand new game, and I will do my very best to impart all of the knowledge that I have learnt onto you. Let's name this town Potatoville, and we're gonna jump straight into a cutscene, but we're gonna be playing on the Trailblazer mode, so basic starting resources, basic hunting and wildlife, a few hostile forces, and uh, a few bits of healthcare adversity, but that's fine. Right, um, so as I say, we're gonna skip past the cutscene, so don't be too, uh, don't be too disturbed if we, uh, if we jump past that. Um, we're here to see the gameplay, and we're here to play the game, um, which is kind of what matters to me. Uh, but anyway, Yes, it's a strategy game, it's a city builder game, it looks lovely, and it is just, or will be just, entering early access uh, momentarily. And I gotta be honest, it looks great. It looks great, it feels great, and I'm super excited to see where this game goes uh, over the course of time, and what updates are gonna come to it, because if how it is now is any indication of what it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be something special. That is for sure. Right. Okay, this is our little population, as is. We need to get ourselves, we need to get ourselves a town center. Very, very, very simple. Now, we start, we start in quite a large area. This is, this is, uh, this is not it, but this is kind of where we will be for now. And bear in mind, uh, we're gonna need a whole bunch of different resources to survive and thrive as, uh, as a little, as a little settler community over here. So I'm trying to find a location Maybe in the center-ish over here. Yeah, probably, probably round about here, actually. You know what? I think we'll actually just roll literally right here. Uh, the reason that this is a nice little location, um, we'll sort of talk through the, the different facets of, uh, of the game as we go. Uh, but the reason why I think this is a nice location is because our proximity to literally everything is very, very near. So... Um, let's, let's pause the game and let's chat about exactly what is going on at the screen right now. Uh, this screen, by the way, this is the, the statistics screen. We'll return to this later, but this is one of the reasons why I think this game is absolutely fantastic. And it gives you, at a glance, information about production and consumption. It's really, really cool, but we'll return to that in a second. Anyway, um, we've got, uh, sick villager stats up here. We've got some, uh, we've got our total number of adults, total number of children, and whether we have any of these adults in housing. We've got overall villager happiness. Nobody's particularly happy because we haven't founded our town yet, but that's fine. Uh, we've got our food stores, and we don't have nine hunks of meat. We have uh, nine months worth of food left, and uh, critically as well, months of food lost to spoilage over the next 12 months. Very, very important to make sure that that number stays as low as possible. Uh, next over here, we've got a nice little overview of exactly uh, where the seasons are. At the moment, we're in year one, um, freezing temperature, moderate breeze, but that is going to go to spring, and then it's going to go to summer, and then it's going to go all the way back to winter again. That's that's uh, Autumn is in there somewhere as well. Uh, that's how the seasons work. Uh, we've got to make sure that we're able to forage and collect a whole bunch of resources and foodstuffs before uh, the weather turns. That is absolutely sort of mission critical. I'm just going to pump the audio a little bit here. There we go. Get the music turned up. Uh, so yeah, that's important. Over here, uh, we've got, I guess, critically important items. So we've got logs, we've got firewood, we've got planks, we've got stone, we've got clay, we've got bricks, and then we've also got gold over here as well. Uh, so, um, without further ado, I think we should probably get cracking. One of the, I guess, the most basic things that we can do uh, is get ourselves a little bit of wood. Now, we start with a couple of resources in our storage cart. Again, have a look at how unbelievably gorgeous everything is. The artwork is 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 fantastic. It really, really is good. As uh, so we got our storage cart here, that's fine. Uh, we got a couple of tools. We got a couple of weapons, a few arrows, a few bows, root vegetables, and some smoked meat. So we've got you know some some stuff that's going to keep for a little while. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get production of local resources up and running. So we're actually going to set all this area to be to be harvested. And it's worth noting that we can choose which resources specifically we want to harvest. So stones uh, are not as useful as trees. Uh, logs are pretty darn imperative for survival, um, so we need a lot of them. Uh, but if we start the process of chopping down a couple of logs, then we can get this town center up and running, which is, of course, as you can imagine, the, the sort of center of absolutely everything. Now, if we have a little look around the map, you can see that there are there's a litany there's a litany of little icons. Now, most of these icons, there are exceptions, obviously, most of these icons represent 
represent food that we can forage. And there's more greens over here. There's a bird's nest over there. That's pretty cool. We can forage in the bird's nest. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting ourselves is getting ourselves a few foragers camps because we can we can get those. A few foragers camps and uh, and seeing where that takes us. Now some of these sources of food are reoccurring. Stuff like hawthorn, for example, um, you can only harvest them once the season once the season is in, they'll ripen late in fall. There you go. So we can only harvest the hawthorn plants, uh, but they'll give us some berries uh, late in fall, which is pretty, which is pretty darn nice if you ask me. Um, so there we go. Right. Uh, first priority of business, there's a housing shortage and there's a firewood shortage as well. Let's get rid of those and leave them up at the top there. That should be fine. A few houses is not the end of the world. Uh, okay. What can we build? Um, let's sort of continue our exploration around the map. There's actually a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of buildings that we can actually build. The town center we've already got. Uh, we've got the market. We've got a graveyard. We can also upgrade a whole bunch of buildings and get some tier two buildings as well. That's fine. Uh, we've got a shelter here. We've got temporary shelter. We've got some storage buildings. We can build ourselves a storage cart right now. Uh, supposedly, or, well, we can't because we don't have any planks, but you get the picture. Hunter cabins, forager shacks. Why don't we get a forager shack done? Let's see if we can try and get it somewhere in the middle. Now, we're going to need more forager shacks in time. That was stupid. Potato, I, uh, I play so many, I play so many strategy games, city builder games, that it's often difficult to remember. Uh, what exactly is the rotation button in a lot of these things? Let's get that down over there, and, um, it's going to take us a little while to get that all to get that all built, but eventually, eventually we'll get there. And let's make sure that we're getting some additional, some additional trees. I want to make sure that we don't destroy the bushes. Hazelnut bush. Okay, so we've selected the the tree harvest action only, and so that should theoretically mean that we're able to get just the trees out, uh, out of this area. We might need that hazelnut bush at some point in the future, uh, but not for now. Right, ten logs in order to build this forager shack. That should be fine. Shouldn't take us too long to get that done at all. So happy days on that front. Uh, what else can we build? Yeah, we can build a hunter cabin. I don't believe... Yeah, I don't actually believe... Oh, tell a lie. There is a chance of us hunting wild boar in this area. So if we sort of drag the hunting shack around the map, you can see there's no chance of deer, no chance of boar, wolves, or bears. But in this area, there looks to be a bit of a... A bit of a bore situation. Okay, so we'll we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We'll remember that there is the potential to find bore over there, and we'll see if we can investigate that uh, in the future. Keep on keep on cutting stuff down, and we will stick the game into two or three times speed uh, in a little bit. But for now, uh, it's okay. What else can we build? A fishing shack. Uh, we can build a fishing shack right now, but there ain't no fish around. Um, so we clearly need to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of exploration, which we will get to uh, in due course. Now, uh, resources, what else can we get in here? We can get ourselves a well. That seems pretty darn important, doesn't it? And um, there is slight variance in the ground, in the groundwater. Uh, 69, that's too difficult to turn down, isn't it? It's very nice. Uh, so yeah, we'll get a ground well over there. We got a firewood splitter as well, which is going to allow us to heat homes. Um, there is a sort of desirability index, which is pretty darn important because... Um, this firewood splitter will lower desirability. So let's get the let's get the firewood splitter out over there. And then of course, we've got defenses, uh, which we can't build, not even close because we don't have any cash at the moment. We can build some walls, some dirt roads, which we will build. We'll get to that. We can also build some decorations. Anyway, we're going to return to housing. We weren't able to build weren't able to build the housing until we got the uh, the town center up and running, so that is fine. Right, let's get get some houses out over here. That hazelnut bush. I don't want to destroy the hazelnut bush. So let's try and not do that. Right. Desirability is not super high, but it's not exactly bad either. Right. So, 10 logs. I mean, we need a lot of logs. We need a lot of logs, and we don't have that many. We don't have that many at all. Now, you can only build certain, certain buildings if you've built the prerequisite buildings. For example, uh, the market, which is a pretty, I guess, early game, early game money that is, is going to allow us to start making some cash, which is great. Uh, we need a saw pit and we need a storehouse. Now, if I want to build the storehouse, um, if I want to build the storehouse, for example, we go to storage. Uh, oh, look, we can't build the storehouse. We need to build 
the stockyard first. So we need to get a stockyard, which is exactly what we're going to do. And it would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? It would make literally perfect sense if I built this right next to my firewood splitter. So we'll queue that up for building over there. No reason to not get a whole bunch of buildings. And then the storehouse will come online later. What was the other building that we required? A saw pit uh, found in resource production. What am I looking? Uh, resources here. Yeah, so saw pit. We needed a stockyard. Okay, so we're going to get a stockyard, and that's going to allow us to get a saw pit as well. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. We got a few logs that are sort of just lying around the place. Um, we'll get we'll get this all we'll get this all built very very shortly indeed. Now, the other thing to bear in mind. Let's get rid of this build menu for a second. Uh, we've got the forager up and running. Uh, we've got Brina, who's working as a forager, forty one years old, no education, no ailments. Like, uh, good to see. Excellent. Uh, you're currently foraging for greens in the in the sort of area around here. That is fine. Uh, it's not going to take too, too long to get that set up. I think we should be, uh, I think we should be just fine. Also, this basic well requires a little bit of stone. We do have the stone to actually get stuff done, uh, but it's just not getting done at a, at a super fast pace. Now, we can prioritize. I mean, I can put the, the basic well into prioritization, you know, mode one or whatever. And uh, and that's fine, but it'll take a little it'll take a little while to get it done anyway. Right. So whilst we're waiting for all of the construction to happen, why don't I go and give my villagers something else to do, and I will get them to build a road out here, which they will do. Uh, they just require a little bit of time to do so. Shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. And we'll also get ourselves another sort of a road out here. Let's get them to go straight. I feel like straight roads are a little bit a little bit better. Ooh, predator sighted. Oh goodness gracious me, a dire wolf. That is worrying. That is very very worrying. Right. Well, that person is running is running scared. Uh, let's see if we can try and get ourselves a food production. Uh, it's a hunter's cabin that we're actually interested in. I mean, we really shouldn't have any. We really shouldn't have any any dire wolves or anything like that around here. Why don't we stick this down? Stick this down there. I mean, I'm not really sure what we can do about this, to be honest. Uh, we don't really have a hunter shack. And you might take a little bit of... You might take a little bit of damage. Right, let's see if we can try and... Let's see if we can try and take you out. There we go. People are gonna go and smack the wolf. Excellent. Everyone's taking their... <laughs> Everyone's getting their hits in. Excellent. Uh, nobody has any weapons. Right, good job. Good job. Um, four villagers attacked by predators. But, but we did... Oh, did you die? Did you die? You, you're lying on the ground? You're looking... Yeah. You're looking very close to being dead. Okay. Um, well, I was hoping to avoid building a graveyard. But, uh, but that is what it is, I suppose. Um... That's fine. We're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to deal with that. We can't get a lookout tower yet. I would dearly love to get a lookout tower. That would be very, very handy. Uh, that would be really, really good. Or a barracks. But again, unfortunately, we need to just get some more stuff down. It's okay though. It's okay. Also, we've got some some more stuff over there. Yeah, let's get a. The hunter cabin is gonna get uh, is gonna get up and running over there. In just a second. Let's get ourselves another hunter cabin up here. We really cannot have too much too much food production. Like, seriously. Can't have too much food production. So we'll get that up, we'll get that up. And yeah, losing losing a an able-bodied person is is not exactly great, but it's not exactly anything that we can deal with right now. Healer's house, yeah, literally we can't get a town center. Villager died from wounds. Yep, let's get ourselves a graveyard. Let's get ourselves a graveyard. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna cancel that. Yeah. Okay, more people would like to join your settlement. Uh, a mass of a four-month food supply. Uh, a four-month a four-month supply of food and six houses. Right, well, we need to get six houses in order to do that, so we should be able to get... We should be able to get, uh, we should be able to get that done very, very shortly indeed. Brilliant. Okay, let's, let's reposition that graveyard in not a terrible location. There we go. I'm only gonna build a small graveyard, because let's be honest, I'm only gonna... <laughs> Let's pretend like I'm not gonna need a large graveyard. That's fine. Okay, so we're splitting some firewood now. That's great. It's very, very nice indeed. Uh, we've got everything being built. I mean, can we cancel this? You know, cancel that. Unless there's like another wolf that comes online. I'm I'm gonna just ignore... I'm gonna ignore the fact that there was a, there was a wolf incursion for a little bit. 
Yeah. Deceased villager. Yeah, I would really like somebody to deal with the deceased villager, please. Hopefully they do. That is so embarrassing. So embarrassing that we're, uh... <laughs> we've already got somebody, uh, somebody who's dead. But hey-ho, that is what it is. Right. Houses are coming along. Houses are coming along just fine. Everyone seems to be happy. This is good. Very, very good. We've got plenty of food. And that is very, very nice indeed. Uh, we're doing a lot of harvesting. We're going to need to get more, though. We really do need to get more. One harvester around these parts is, is fine, but we need more. We really, really, really do need more. Okay. Uh, the hunter's cabin, seven months of that, or seven months of that remaining. What am I talking about? Seven bits of wood remaining. Let's also get some more. Let's get some, um, let's get some road to take us up to the top of the, to take us up to the hunter's cabin over here. There we go. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, two new villagers immigrated. Excellent. That's brilliant news. That's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant news. So we still have, oh yeah, we got the six houses. That's brilliant. Uh, we've got a plentiful supply of food that is perfect. And all we need to really do is get ourselves a little bit more... A little bit more wood and we shall be good. Right, we've got some nuts. I tell you what, why don't we also queue up another... Why don't we queue up another forager over here? Sure. There's plenty of, there's plenty of foraging to be done in these parts. Yep, I am very, very happy with that area of influence. It's good. It's not quite as good as the one down south, uh, which is probably our main forager, but that's fine. Right, we're up to nine months of food. Uh, months of food lost to spoilage over the next five months. That's kind of to be anticipated, right? I mean, berries don't keep for long. Uh, vegetables, root vegetables don't keep for that long. Greens don't keep for that long. Uh, smoked meat does keep for a long time. Uh, so that's probably that's probably pretty darn good. Uh, but yeah, this is it. So we can take a very sort of granular look at our protein consumption, grain consumption, vegetable consumption, uh, fruit consumption, whether we're producing enough of it, whether stuff is spoiling. If stuff is spoiling, is it is it spoiling in, in a large quantity? Do we need to do something about it? You know, so there's a lot of a lot of important questions to be to be asked. Uh, of our stats screen and it's super useful as you can see we're actually making our way pretty efficiently uh i would love to accept more people yes absolutely we'll take more people any day of the week uh yes so as you can see we are in a pretty nice place i'm i'm pretty happy with where we are uh we've got some good roads i like the road situation it's very very nice let's get some trees chopped down here and some more trees chopped down here there we go. More people wish to join your settlement. A bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers to our growing town. Markets, stock houses, uh, markets, stock houses, and generate gold based on the number worked in the area. Okay, well, fine. We were building towards a market anyway. Uh, what did we need? We needed a saw pit and a storehouse. Yes, I needed both of those things, and I've neglected to do either of them. Uh, right, so storehouse, storehouse over here. Next to the graveyard seems a little sussy, but it's fine. We'll do it anyway. And a root cellar as well. A root cellar would be handy because it's going to mean that we will hopefully be able to keep our food unspoiled for a little bit longer. And this is imperative as we go into as we go into winter. Yep. Okay, looking good. Everyone seems to be working pretty darn hard. We've got not a ton of food. And as you can see, the foraging shack is now officially going to be uh going to be useless over the course of winter um there's nothing there's nothing green there's nothing to forage so clearly uh there is an issue there that's fine let's slow it down a little bit slow the game down i am looking to get what was the other thing that i needed i needed a firewood splitter i needed a saw pit that's right so yeah this is gonna make the this is gonna make the area much less desirable but that's fine right throw that down there we're already We've already zoned those trees for uh, for chopping anyway, so that's fine. We've got <laughs> 69 firewood. Nice. Plenty of firewood for now, I think. Uh, we've got not enough stone, but this is queued up to harvest, and this is also queued up to harvest as well. So just a little bit of time, and we'll, and we'll get there. Uh, yeah, so we've got two months of food left. I think that should be fine. If we're able to get ourselves a little bit of additional boar, then that would be really, really nice. Um, we'll have to see if that's the case, though. Not sure that it will be, but I can confidently say that we've got a decent amount of everything right now. 
Food stocks are low? I'm aware. I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware. But that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Now, um, keeping food in the root cellar, is this, is this something that we can do? I mean, we can enable everything. Everything is enabled. Spoilage reduction bonus per barrel. Okay, so if we barrel things, then we're going to be able to reduce spoilage uh, even further. That is, that is fine. Now, is there anything else? Is there anything else on the map left to harvest? I don't think so. I think we have quite literally yoinked everything that we possibly can. So, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that Walden. It's a bit of a weird name. Um, hopeful that Walden is going to be able to deliver us some uh, some goodies. We got three months, three months of food left, and we got uh, we got some spoilage that's going to happen. Right? Is there literally nothing else? to be doing? I don't think so, or if there is stuff to be doing, um, my people are not willing to do it because it's too cold. Well, we'll queue this up for, uh, for spring, and I gotta be honest, winter does not last that long. It's actually not, like, a super, it's not a super long, awful experience. It's a little chilly, uh, but to be honest, it's fine. Ooh, look at that! Boar sighted? That would be really, really handy. Also, uh, I was going to say, we can get a market now. We can absolutely get a market now. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, the market is going to actually bump up the desirability of everything around here. That is super fantastic. Let's get the market oriented in that, uh, in that way. And we can get the saw pit to start working, hopefully. And that's going to take wood and turn it into planks. Brilliant. Happy, happy days. I'm a little bit worried about my food situation, but look at that. Uh, spring is just about coming. Just about coming. Literally just around the corner. There we go. Bada bim, bada boom. Happy days. Okay, so um, we've got all of that stuff on the go. We've got food. Uh, we do have, like, enough food. Like, all of the houses have food. And they've also got water as well. There's just not much food left uh, centrally. But to be fair, I mean, there is. There is enough. There's smoked meat. There's smoked meat by the boatload here. That's fine. That's fine, actually. That's, that is, that is absolutely no issue whatsoever. So, I think we'll be, I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. Right, um, let's get these, let's get these planks fixed and let's get people working on these planks. And we'll actually increase the number of people that we have working in the saw pit to try and get ourselves some additional plank production. Food stocks are low, I know. This boar does need to be does need to be destroyed, and um, we'll work to we'll work to do that. Right. Um. I'm gonna turn off storage of food in the cart here. I presume that it's gonna prioritize to. There we go. I presume that it's gonna prioritize to uh, to the other area anyway. But for now, it seems to me a better idea to keep things in the root cellar. Now, in terms of upgrading buildings, I did hint at it earlier. Um, we can get the town center upgraded. Look at that. Garrisons of villagers don't really want to do that right now. Town center does not currently meet the requirements to upgrade. What do we need? Uh, more shelters, a market, more population, more planks, and more stone. Okay, overall villager happiness is 83%. As you can see, the amount of, uh, the amount of food that we've got is increasing, which is great fact that's uh that's very very decent and we're in a pretty good place okay uh we can't manage walls we don't want to flatten the terrain we can build dirt roads and we will do that um we can also set exploration points do i really want to do that right now i don't think that i do i don't think that i do at all i think we're actually okay i think we're actually okay where we are do i need to get more do i need to get another forager over here is that kind of what i need to do i feel like i might straight up just need another forager um We'll have a little look at what our villager occupations are in just a second. And we can do that by going into villager professions here. We've got seven laborers. We've got four builderers. Uh, firewood splitter. A couple of sawyers. People that saw. A couple of foragers. One hunter. So we actually have plenty of people that are... Um, you know, that are with jobs, without jobs. We're in, a, we're in a pretty decent place with regards to that. That's fine. Okay, so the market is going to get built as soon as we have the wood for it. That's fine. And we've actually got plenty of logs. We just don't have plenty of planks. Let's get some more houses. Let's get some more houses. We'll get some more houses over here. And I will destroy this hazelnut bush. But I'm also going to leave a little space for a road. And it would be a nice thing... We can build the road straight up. There we go. 
Food stocks are low. I know. Food stocks are always low. Are we using the root cellar yet? Doesn't seem like we are. Doesn't seem like we are. But I suspect that's just because we're storing all of our stuff in our house. Which is fine. Which is fine. It's A-OK. -okay. We just need we just need more. We just need more stuff. Right, there we go. Worker is working away. Fish bash bosh. We'll have ourselves a brand new forager shack in just a second, which is fantastic. And the overlapping sort of operation is not perfect. It's actually a little bit annoying that we don't include all the other greens, but it's fine. It's fine on the grand scheme of things. I mean, I can't really complain. I can't really complain too much. That's okay. What's going on here? Hunters haven't found any game for a while. Oh, really? There's boar over there, though. Oh, well... That's a little... That's a little unfortunate. That is a... That is a little unfortunate. Okay, well, maybe we'll have to destroy the hunter cabin. I thought that we were going to be in with a chance of finding some, uh... Some boar, but apparently not. Okay, well, it's springtime. We've got plenty of time to, uh... We've got plenty of time to forage some... Some new stuff. Let's set an exploration point down there. Let's set an exploration point up here. And we'll see if somebody discovers something of interest. Yeah. But certainly, in terms of the amount that we're able to forage, I think that we've got a... We've got a good, we got a good amount of food. We've got a good amount of food coming, coming online. It's a boar. Literally right there. Literally right there. Literally right there. Wow. Okay. Am I going to have to torpedo this? I mean, really going to... Okay. Try it. Try there instead. Try there instead. Right. Let's also set this to work in... Sure. Work in that area. And you can work in this area. Sure, try that. Okay, I think that's a little, a little, a little bit of a better setup. Food stocks are low. That's fine. We're finally starting to store things in the root cellar. That's great. The market, by the way, is fully up and running. Household goods are stocked by a grocer and distributed to houses. How effective is that? It's very, very effective. Uh, Forty-seven greens lost to spoilage. That's a little bit of a little bit of an unfortunate situation, but that is fine. Right. So we're starting to generate money. That's wonderful. That's really, really good. What's next on our on our building on our building target list? I mean, we can get ourselves this second town center if we're able to get a slightly larger population. Building has no food. That's okay. It will be fixed in time, no doubt. Okay. Let's also set some exploration points around. Get ourselves a little bit more confidence about what we're doing. Sure. Why not? Yeah, lots of lots of people, but not enough people involved in the production of food, by the sounds of it. Right, we'll also get another forager, just because I'm absolutely paranoid about the fact that we just don't have the... We don't have the food production. Prioritize, this is the building to work on right now. And we'll set this. Villagers attacked by a predator. Where? Oh yeah, just through the trees there. Another wolf? Another wolf? Are you seriously running away? Okay, well the wolf's gone down. That's gonna provide us more more food. That's excellent. Right. Um, yeah, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that. We need to get our defenses. We need to get our defenses raised. The fact that the hunter, the person who's literally there to hunt, um, was was running away, running away scared. It's not a great, it's not a great vibe, but hey-ho. Right, so getting to, getting to level two, we literally need population, we need a little bit of stone as well. Um, we'll set that up as a harvest target. We'll set up some more rocks as harvest targets as well. What else do we need? Um, we could get a field. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad idea. We've got some good fertility over here. In fact, if we set this as an exploration point, we can maybe have a little look and see what's going on over there. Uh, lots of resources to harvest over here. Lots of resources to harvest. Nothing, nothing new really in the grand scheme of things. And I am a little bit worried about the fact that we just don't have, we just don't have the food that we need for, uh, for winter yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Right, three times speed yet again. 
Got a decent number of planks. I'm actually going to say, let's reduce the number of people that we have working in this saw pit because we got plenty of planks. We actually have plenty of firewood as well. Oh, deer sighted over here. That's wonderful. Let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves a hunter cabin. Hunter's cabin over here. And you know what? We'll get ourselves a forager's cabin as well. Sure. Sure. That's really good. Wow, this is a very, very good area to forage. Okay, the leaves are falling. The leaves are falling and we've got four months of four months of food. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Still no sign of any fish. Um, I wouldn't expect to find any fish. We've got a few berries that are chilling in the uh, in the cellar. A villager is stricken with dysentery. That's a bit of a problem. Um, we do have clean water, I believe. Uh, our well, which is, like, over here somewhere? I can't actually see it. Oh, it's literally there. Um, I believe this is clean water. I believe this is clean water. So, I don't believe necessarily that our villager will, uh, will die. But I think we just need to leave it up to the... Leave it up to the hands of fate to see what happens there. Right, so we'll get this hunter's cabin up and running. Brilliant. We've got a good number of builders. I feel like we're pretty happy with this. Forager shack, area of influence. Let's go... Here? Yep. Okay. It really is like we're wrestling with our food supplies at the moment. Uh, food loss to spoilage, 52 berries. I mean, that is what it is. It's unfortunate that there's... Nothing that we can do about it, but it is fine. Uh, we're getting a decent a, a decent chunk of cheddar. Now, uh, what other buildings can I get? Because I haven't got a couple. We've got the root cellar. That's great. Housing-wise, we've already got what housing we can get. Food production. I need to get a field up and running. Well, I don't need to get a field up and running, but I feel like I should get a field up and running. Right. Uh, farming, as you can probably imagine, is a pretty resource-intensive operation, or a human resource-intensive operation, actually. So, let's get this set up over here. Wonderful. And Forager Shack, brilliant. You can... You can just do... Down here. Sure. Food stocks are low. Man, is there ever a, is there ever a month that goes by where food stocks aren't low? I also feel like I need more people, but can I really can I really deal with more people? Construction's been halted due to winter. Unfortunate. Also unfortunate, a villager succumbed to illness. That is that is very, very unfortunate. Uh can't really can't really help that. A new settler has arrived. Well, one in, one out. That's what I always say. Right, three months. We should be able to get pretty cleanly through to the start of the next year. Uh, especially if we're able to score some uh, to score some deer in the meantime. Now, I keep I keep checking back for uh, for upgrades here. Still nothing. We got some eight berries lost to spoilage. Uh, forty four berries, eleven greens, or forty four berries, fourteen greens, whatever it is. Not much that we can really do about that. That just kind of is kind of is what it is. It's unfortunate that we have that spoilage, but um, but not really much that we can do. So, um, everybody is is stocked, I believe, for winter. Food spoilage is in not a bad place. Clothing is okay at the moment. Uh, item wear is okay. Yeah, we're in a pretty we're in a pretty decent place. But what I want to do is I really want to continue to explore the brand new buildings that we can build, right? So we've got the tannery, uh, which is absolutely something that we need to get up and running. Cobbler shop, uh, which takes leather. I don't actually know if we have any leather. I just have a little look at uh, at that. Oh yeah, we do have a little bit of a little bit of leather, a few pelts. That's fine. Tannery. It's horrible business. Tannerying. Right. Desirability of this area is not good. Cobbler shop. We'll get that as well. Sure. We got ourselves like a little little industrial park over here. Fletcher building. We'll build that, even though I don't think that we're going to need it for a little while. Leave a little bit of space. Got plenty of planks. And we need a basket shop as well. Uh, I would like that. I would like a... I would like a basket shop. And none of these buildings until... Until we get to... Until we get to the compost yard require cash. Now, hold on. This is unfilled. That's kind of to be anticipated. 
Bit of a problem, that. Bit of a problem. Okay. Building does not access to a, does not have access to a clean water source. Really? Does this not count as the clean water source? In fact, I yeah, I suspect as soon as the, the water is delivered there will be will be fine. Okay, um I'm gonna take somebody out of the Fletcher building. I'm also gonna take somebody out of the cobbler shop. I'm gonna take you out of the tannery. I don't think that we particularly need to focus on that right now at all. Right. Are we having any joy with this? I think we are having a little bit of joy with the, uh, yeah, with the butchering process here. That's nice. A hundred, a hundred bits of meat produced in the last year. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, smoking that meat would be very, very handy, but I don't think we can do that right now. We'll probably get to that later. Right. After defenses, what do we got? Barracks. We need a saw pits. And we did Town Center Level 2. We really need to get Town Center Level 2 up and running, don't we? We really, really do. Uh, Birch Tree, don't care about any of that. Uh, we can get some walls, by the way. Um, keep animals away from crops or predators away from livestock. Don't care about that at all. Right, yearly tax is collected. 72 gold ingots were collected over the last year. Increase the number of tax generating buildings to generate more tax. I would like that. I would like that a lot. I would like that a lot. Uh, tannery, did I say that we were going to stop tanning? I did say that we were going to stop tanning. There seems to be no reason to to want to bother around with that at this present moment. I think that's every single build. We've got every single building with the exception of... With the exception of this storage cart thing, which I don't think we really care about. What we really need to move towards... What we really, really, really need to move towards... What is this bee sting? Okay. Community health. Apparently somebody's got stung with a bee, but it's not in the game yet. That's fine. Uh, we really just need, first and foremost, more food. We're working on that with the farmers. That is that is kind of important. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of work that goes into to doing the farming. Patch of herbs. It's fine. Can we do a little bit more exploring, please? A little bit more exploring. I'm gonna go pretty deep into the unknown here. Not too far, but deep enough that we can get a little bit of a, a little bit of an extra idea about what's going on. A building is on fire. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we do have plenty of water, right? There's 250, there's 250 things of water in this, uh, in this well. I presume everyone's getting water from the, I presume everyone's getting water from the market. There we go. Thank goodness gracious me. Oh, that was close. That was close. Um, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Food stocks are low. Turns out, yep, that we were faffing around with... Faffing around with yet more stuff. This is fine. This is fine. I still think that we need more foragers, though. But hopefully, 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 the farming, the farming will come good for us. No guarantees, obviously, but I guess we'll see. Forager shack, you're continuing to forage. That's fine. Okay, we're all we're all good. We're all good. Only two people working in this in this area. That's fine. Is this worth another forage hut? Iron ore over there. That's cool. Two new villagers immigrated. Excellent. Love to see it. That's getting us closer to our target of 30 people. 40 planks, 25 stone. We will actually start we'll start digging up some more stone. Harvest resource, harvest resource so that we can perhaps move a little closer to getting there. Uh, but definitely those extra two people are going to go a long way. We've got six laborers. That's fine. Obviously, we've got a lot of... Oh, do I not have one forager? Crank that up. Don't know why that's the case. Uh, one grocer working in the market. A couple of hunters. A basket maker who is completely pointless, right? As I understand it. Basket shop. Yep. Turn that down as well. Because we literally do not have any willow. Um, not yet, anyway. That's fine. Right, most of our efforts at the moment are being put towards the field, tilling the crops. That's fine. Hunters haven't found any game in a while. Yeah, well... Oh my god. Another predator? There's literally a boar outside your door. Hunters haven't found any... You idiots. You idiots. Look, there's a boar literally right here. There's a... There's a boar right there. What are you doing, you, you you dafty? Go. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, gracious me, that we were able to that we were able to micromanage him and get him the and get him what he needs to get. 
the, the, the carcass. Jeez Louise. How difficult is that? Are we having any more... Having any more luck on the deer fronts? 250 bits of deer in the last uh, in the last year. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Uh, it looks like our wandering adventurers. Ooh, more boar over there. That's good. The good thing about boar, obviously, is that you can find them in winter as well. Sand pit. Okay. Uh, bird's nest. Bird's nest. Okay, more of the same, really. More of the same. But the field is almost done. That's great. That's really, really good. 312 units of work remaining. Eight months of food. Predators sighted. That's another wolf. Forager. Okay, where's our hunter here? Let's see if we can try and get you to come and attack this wolf. Right. Yeah. You're going to end up dying. But hopefully, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so somebody did end up dying. That is a bit unfortunate. Um, you kind of can't do altogether too much about that. That really, that really does suck. Can we get the, can we get the carcass here? I don't actually know. The carcass might automatically be collected, but that's, un that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's taken us one, one person, one person away. Okay. The field is ready. Hallelujah. Also... Three new villagers immigrated. Absolutely brilliant. New villager has been born. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, crops can now, be, can now be planted. Brilliant. Okay, click to add crops. What crops do we particularly care about? Hmm. I feel like I want some... I feel like I want some hardy crops. Flax. Wheat. No, oh, look, we can add clay or we can add sand to uh, to give us to give us what we need. Right. Year two. Oh, I see. We can yeah get that, get that. Uh, cabbage. Oh, very good. Look at this. Look at this. Soil mixture isn't quite there, is it? It's not bad for cabbage. It's not bad for cabbage at all. So what would the yield be for all of these? I mean, it's not it's not bad. We can grow the turnips basically now. Got two workers assigned here. Um, yeah, clear that. Clear that. Clear that. I mean, what is best? What is best on this field? I mean, I feel like it's not not actually great. Clover, leek. Leeks aren't bad. Leeks aren't bad either. 494. It could be more. It really could be more. Fertility, weed level, rocks, soil bonus. Yeah, unfortunately, the soil is, is quite fertile. It's quite fertile, but it's not fertile enough. Sure. Let's give that a shot. Let's give that a shot. Oh, dysentery again. And this, this, sure. Right. Let's see if that, let's see if that works. We'll see if that works. We'll get, uh, we'll get sewing. No idea how long it's going to take for us to actually sew all of the stuff that we need to sew. But we can, we can certainly try. Right. That's done. That's done. Do I want to get another forager up here? I feel like maybe I do. Also, let's get some roads out. I haven't really connected connected this area with roads yet. There we go. Okay, that's looking and feeling a lot better. That's looking and feeling a lot, lot better. 12 months worth of food uh, storage. A lot of it is meat as well, actually. I don't think I can build a smokehouse, can I? I think that's in level two. No, it's in level one. What am I talking about? Let's get that up and running immediately. All right, brilliant. Let's put that on prioritization. Let's get some road. Up here, brilliant. And let's sort of see how that works out. Hopefully we don't end up taking out, uh, out any food sources here. I don't think we've, I don't think we've done that. Should have plenty of stone, plenty of wood to make this all happen. That's great. And look at that. We're actually growing turnips. 
175 yields. I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. Oh, wow. They've already come good. That was a unbelievably quick growing cycle. Oh, well, fantastic. That was hugely, hugely profitable for us. That's great. Okay, we got 113 bits, bits, of, bits of meat just chilling around in there. 48 in yonder. That's fine. We've got plenty of tax, by the way. We got loads and loads of tax coming in. That's wonderful. 180 bits of meat produced in the last year. That is not bad, not bad at all. We are overall happy with how things are looking at the moment. Any other new discoveries in terms of exploration? No. Uh, another sand pit over here. Villagers succumb to illness. This is what happens. This is what happens on the frontier. You know, it's it's, it's life. Life. It's uh, it's it's quick. Right. That's fine. Okay, harvested 179. 179 turnips is is it's not exactly perfect, but it's not exactly bad. Right. Uh, three new villagers have immigrated. Excellent. And let's see if we can start. Let's see if we can start getting two villagers attacked by predators. Oh. That fills me with dread. Hmm. So it was the hunter that was killed. There we go. Okay, good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, yeah, I would love to get a healer's hut. I mean, you survived on, like, yeah, you survived barely. Unable to work. Yeah, no, no surprise there, really. Okay, the good news is... Food-wise, we're, we're in a nice place. In a very, very nice place. Okay, smokehouse. Yes, I would love to get the... I'd love to get the smokehouse up and running. This is good. This is very, very good, and we can start smoking. We can start smoking some meat. It's going to start lasting a lot longer, which is just going to be a nice little bonus. Unfortunately, nothing that we can do with regards to the vegetable situation, but that is what it is. Right, 30 population. We are absolutely going to get that done. Harvest this resource... That resource has already been harvested. That's fine. Rocks here. Harvest that. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Still no sign of boar. Oh, there is a boar literally right there. You managed to chase down that boar? There we go. Again. There you go. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Sometimes all you need is a little a little help. I'll make that happen. I will make that help happen. I am keen to get I'm keen to get somebody back in here. Yeah, it's pretty important. Let's have a little look at the jobs. Ten laborers, uh foragers, that needs to go back to where it was. That's perfect. Smoker, one smoker. That's fine. Firewood splitter, sawyer. Yep, we're okay with this. Those slots are disabled. That's fine. Five greens spoiled. That is okay. Residents are complaining of unsanitary conditions. Build a compost yard to help clean up waste. I will actually do that. I will actually do that because we can do that. Resources, compost yard. Is this going to make the ground more fertile or are we going to make compost and then move it around? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, right, year number four. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This is it. This is our time. Man, okay. Finally. Finally, it feels like we've got a really, really, really good thing going here. I'm very, very happy with this. I don't think that we want to explore anymore. I think we're quite fine with uh, with how things, are, how things are doing. Nice number of yearly taxes as well. Uh, we're in what? We are in leak land at the moment. I think we can just about just about tolerate this. We do probably need to Yeah, we do probably need to try and add more sand. Target soil bonus. Yeah. Now, can we get sand? I don't think we can get sand yet. I think that's that remains an impossibility. Yeah. So, we'll have to come back at some point. Deer. Nice. Beautiful. Good shooting, my dude. Right, this is why it's important that we have hunters. 
Hunters are doing doing good stuff for us. Really, really good stuff for us. Now, how much smoked meat do we have? 161 smoked meat? That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, we don't have any grain yet. Um, but we can probably get grain if we wanted to to get that all... Uh, to get the, the fields growing, growing grain. Also, let's get that. What do I want? Sure. That's fine. There, that down there. Wonderful. Okay. This is this is feeling this is feeling good. This is feeling good. But let's just get let's just get this thirty population and let's get on to the let's get on to the level two, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I like it. I like it. Can I upgrade any of these buildings? No. Pretty much all of them require like town center level level two at the uh, absolute minimum, which to be fair is kind of to be anticipated. Yeah. Okay, well, it's clay there. Compost pile, nice. That's great. Compost can be added to crop fields to increase fertility. Wonderful. And we've almost got that second field up and running as well. That's going to be a huge bonus. Take that for free. That's going to be fantastic. 144 work days to make it into a field. That is, that is quite a lot. Oh, it's enough. It's enough. Let's get that upgrade. Let's get that upgrade. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three new villagers immigrated and a villager being born at the same time has meant that we're ready to finally hit that level two upgrade. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay. Crops ready for assignment. Let's go. Carrots. Beans, peas, whatever. Just throw whatever in. Um, I mean, we could do wheat. We could do, like, next year wheat. See what that, see what that gives us. Crops lost to heat stress. Um, that's a bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Look at this, we're up to 11. We're literally up to, like, um, 11, 12 months. 12 months of food. It's pretty good. It is pretty hot, to be fair. It is pretty hot. Right, that's a level 2 town hall. We're going to need, like, a lot of homes before moving on up to, to level 3. But it's hopefully unlocked, like, a brand new sort of plethora of buildings for us. A healer's house, for example. Monthly cost of 30. Holy cow. That's a lot. A trading post? Uh, I would love to get a trading post. Let's do that. Let's build it over. Let's not build it around the market. Let's actually build it, like, over here. Sure. Okay, set that up. What else? A school? I don't think that there's... I don't think that there's an ongoing cost issue there. Build the school... Uh... Oh, we can't actually build the school yet because we don't have a clay mine, but we will probably quite soon. Pub, we'll get a pub. It's going to increase the desirability yet further. Wonderful. Get the pub over there. What else? Rat catcher. Mm, I feel like we don't need that. Housing, yeah, we can get more houses. I will actually get more houses. Good stuff. And in storage, a wagon shop. I would actually like, I would actually like a wagon. A wagon or two, that would be kind of cool. Let's prioritize, prioritize that one, please. Let's also get some more Sawyers. There we go. What else do we need? Granary. I love the idea of a granary. Dysentery. Okay. Don't love to see that. Get a granary over there to keep our crops and our wheat good. Uh, a cooper. Iron and barrels. Uh, well, that's pointless because we don't have any iron production yet. And a vault for the town's gold. Also pointless because we don't have... We don't have anything like that. Uh, yes, I will build a windmill, but again... Can't do that at the moment. A bakery. Love to. No point in us doing that at the moment. Harvesting resources. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, video game. Appreciate that. Uh, what do we need more of? Planks? I know. Planks and also stone. Let's... Hold on. Pause here for a second and go back to stone. Stone. Boom. Get all the stone there. That's fine. Nice. Yeah, literally a little bit more stone is all that's required. Okay, so that's fine. What about in resources? What do we got? An apiary? Oh, I like the... I like that. I like that a lot. 
What about... Oh, this is like perfect over here. Right next to our field is like... 85%? I mean, that's great. Sure. Okay, we're, we're doing a lot of... We're doing a lot of construction. We're, we're doing a lot of construction right now, but that's okay. Oh, look, look at all these. A work camp. Work camps are used to continuously harvest logs and wood. Yep. We'd love that. Love that, love that, love that. Build that down here. Sure. And what else? We're heading towards Alton, but that's fine. A clay pit. Hey! Clay pit. Iron mine, gold mine, unfortunately, no sign of gold. Sand pit, yep, apiary, got it. Potter building, that's pots, that's fine. Weaver building, we don't have willow yet. Or flax even, that's flax. Candle shop, that's pretty useful. Uh, soap shop, cool. Charcoal kiln, that's okay. And an armory, building where armor is made. Okay, what about in, oh, what about in defenses? This is kind of why I was... This is kind of what I was wanting to do. I, would, I was very, 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 very keen to get some barracks. Would love to get some. Love to get some of this. Love to get some of this action over here. Right, let's prioritize the trading post so that hopefully that's going to subsidize our barracks to, you know, a greater or lesser extent. What else? Walls. Impending blizzard. Okay, well, we got loads of food. We should be fine. Uh, yeah, we can get... Oh, we can get some cobbled roads. Nice. Um, in fact, can I get... There's no uh, There's no way to get stone, like an unlimited amount of stone. Is there from a stone mine or anything like that? Bit of a problem. I say a bit of a problem. It's not a problem as such. It's just a thing that we need to work around. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Um, I like this. New villager is born and some more people moving in. Oh, that is so brilliant. You love to see it. You really, really do. This pub is going to cost me a lot of, a lot of stuff, but it's fine. Also, we need more. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! The trading post is the trading post is here. We can actually get some. We can get some trading on. Ooh. I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that a lot. Uh, do I have a lot of something? I have a lot of firewood. To be fair, if if uh, anyone wants to buy firewood, then that'd be cool. Uh, beans, candles, candles I can make. Candles I'll be able to make very, very soon. Um, what do I, what do I want to do here? I don't think that I want to do anything at all. I don't really want to buy any pelts. That seems, that seems unnecessary. Yeah, trader one, trader two, anything, anything else? No, nothing. I mean, we kind of need, like, more more refined, um, more refined stuff. Services, taxes, uh, one-time construction. Oh. What's the one-time construction that's costing me, like, an arm and a leg? Okay, let's prioritize that for now. And we'll go into harvest resources, we'll say trees, and we'll just sort of destroy all those trees around the back there. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, good. We're back on top of the... Back on top of the gold situation, which is kind of nice. Pretty happy with that. Oh, we do have... Oh, no, that's not That's not a source of stone. That's just literally stone right there. Uh, clay deposit. You know what? I would like to get... I would like to get a clay pit just to sort of prove... If we can do it. Let's do that. It's not on prioritization mode or any of that nonsense. Yeah, man, it would be so nice to be so nice to get rid of some of this, some of this stuff. Building attacked. Uh oh. You are a hunter. Yeah, you're our hunter. Is that a bear? Oh my lordy, that's a bear. We'll face him down. Wow, you got you got away with murder there, my friend. You are like horrifically injured. You're pursuing a... You're pursuing a bear? Maybe not. Maybe not. Bring it back. Bring it back a little. Yeah, try a boar instead. If you don't die. Oh my lordy, you're so low on HP. Jeez Louise. But at least you got the kill. That was the... 
That was worth it. Okay, so the building was attacked. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. Didn't really cost us anything, so that's great. That is good. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, I see. We're building the barracks, and that costs us 250, 250, uh, 250 a pop. Okay, a few new villagers, that's fine. Honestly, the ability to get more wood constantly would be great. Missing ranged ammunition. Um, that's the Fletcher building. Let's get two people working in the... We got two people working in the Fletchers. That's going to get us some arrows for hunting. That's going to be quite handy. Yearly taxes collected. Yeah, I know. That's good. We do need ways to generate more money. Honestly, you know what I'm currently thinking? I'm currently thinking that candlestick maker... Where is it? Weaver building, candle shop. Yeah. So we technically will have all of the components required. It's going to take us a little while. I mean, you know. There we go. Chopping trees. Lots and lots of tree chopping, please. Nice. More dysentery. Excellent. Tools are needed to work efficiently at the building. Yeah, we do need to get a tool production facility, but we don't have it yet. Also, um, we need to get a healer. Some some sorts. Healer's house. Increase the desirability. All around. Kind of wonderful. Good. And a road. Just a normal road. Constructed by building. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Okay, my people are doing a lot of stuff. My people are doing a lot of stuff. We're making a lot of progress. Did we get that? Uh, we didn't get the apiary done yet. No. That's fine, though. Okay. We are currently in the process of getting quite a lot of woods. And I really value the fact that we've got this work camp here. Probably going to retarget it, perhaps in this area. Not like it particularly matters. No stones in the area of this work camp. Not a problem at all. In fact, to be honest, we can just have this work camp specifically dedicated to, to trees. Cholera? Oh my lordy. Really? Well, that healer's house needs to come online um, yesterday, actually. Predator sighted. And is that the bear again? Oh my lordy, it's the bear again. This is the hunter. You know what? Turn and fight. Turn and fight. Just do it. Just do it. Get that bear. Get that bear. Dude, this hunter has seen it all. That's a boar, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's chasing, <laughs> chasing down and hitting them with a, <laughs> with his, with his stick. Right. Uh, okay. So the Fletchers should be working on, should be working on way more production ratio. Let's actually up our production ratio. So provide. We'll do three, three loads of arrows to. Right, like six loads of arrows to one to one bow. There's simply no reason to go over the top with uh, with the bow situation. Uh, the wagon. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Clearly, we built a wagon. I hadn't noticed it, but but this is fantastic. This is great. Happy days. From 20 log planks, we got it. Okay. I mean, everything is kind of working in pretty fantastic fashion, if I'm, if I'm completely honest. Uh, let's get another wagon person. Uh, crop loss due to heat stress. Well, that's... That is what it is. Uh, we've got a decent amount of food at the moment. Truly a decent amount of food. Work camp is looking fantastic. We just need a lot of planks, really, and that's not something that we have at the moment. Uh, somebody needs to be working in there. Everyone is coming down with cholera. Hate to see that. Uh, we're not exactly in a great position with regards to... With regards to builders. Villagers cured! Oh, excellent. Well done for overcoming cholera. Well done. That's really, really great news. Okay, uh, let's set that resource to be harvested, that resource to be harvested. I mean, yeah, we're, we're looking like we're in a pretty nice, pretty nice place. We've got a lovely little community set up. Everyone seems particularly happy. In fact, look at this. Everyone is happy. Everyone is happy. We are slowly but surely working on our barracks. Uh, we invested a lot of cash in this, obviously. Um, we're going to get our... We're going to get our wood planks up and running in time. Uh, we're doing a whole bunch of meat smoking. In fact, is most of our... Yeah, look at this. Pretty much the entirety of our long-term food storage is uh, is in is in meat. That's great. 
uh, succumb to illness, whatever. I mean, look, we're getting the healer's house. It's it's happening. It will happen. It will happen later. But it's not going to happen right now, ladies and gents, because we're going to wrap this episode up. Farthest Frontier. This is very, very interesting. I'm super curious to see where this goes. It's only early access at the moment. Uh, but holy cow, this is a really, really polished game. It looks good. It feels good. And we explored but a tiny little percentage of, uh, of everything that was going on in this game. So definitely going to follow this one up in the future. But for now, and for me, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.